Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we have news and it has to do with Topo Gone and they've actually gone ahead to make a release trailer that is more like a sneak peek to a tool which they've created over a long period of time that hasn't gotten any form of update since like eight years now. So the last time we heard about Topo Gone was in 2012 and that was when the Topo Gone 2 point something was updated and at the point uh topo gun was one of the best tool that was out there for anyone that was looking towards making retopology you know trying to create some very interesting looking stuff and not working with high dense mesh topo gun had all of the possibilities all of the functionalities and even a bit more that you see right now in a whole lot of retopology apps and it did make a lot of sense because it was a very light tool and it was a one-time purchase tool at the point and it was very easy for anyone to get right into it so recently there is a trailer that was you know released and the trailer had to do with a new looking type of topogon so one of the first things that you get to notice from the trailer is there is now a brand new ui contrary to the ui which we had previously which was actually acceptable at the point but right now i think they've gone ahead to update the ui and also update the way the whole thing works so there is now a full screen mode which you can access and you can proceed with working with these things depending on what you want to get and it's also really cool to see that they did not you know go ahead to lose all of those amazing tool sets that they have but they've actually repolished them a little bit more to get some way more cleaner finesse with what you can do with it so previously if you've ever used topo gun you do know that you have the whole brush thingy that you can use when you want to work with your brush and it's also really cool to see that they also teased a small video about a new retopology function that will be coming right now topo gun is also coming out with some really cool tool which they've also teased alongside so you can play with your retopology you can you know dictate how much retopology you want to get and i think this is going to make your work a lot more easier so looking at the ui you can still see that they've still gone ahead to keep the inspector view which is also cool and since Topogon is an amazing tool which you can use. They've also added a couple of context menu which is very very reminiscent of what you can see when working with modbox or when you're working with tools like Modo. And it's also really cool to note that it's a very good tool that you can simply work with when you want to start baking and creating stuff. Although a lot of people might complain that Topogon is late, it's been 8 years now and Topogon is back. Although there is no official statement to when this is going to be released, but it's pretty cool to see that there is a whole lot of work happening behind the scene for a tool like this. And in case you want to get Topogon as well, you can also go over to their website. And the cool thing here is you would actually purchase this a one time. It does support things like subdivision and it is also available for all of the platforms that you want to work with and presently the single license goes for hundred dollars and if you want to get the floating license you can get it for 250. there is no hmm, there is no concrete information about when this tool is going to be available or how much it's going to cost i actually hope they don't switch over to getting subscriptions contrary to you know the one-time payment that they have and it's pretty interesting to see that Topogon is back. And that's going to be about it. I would like to know what you guys think about all of this in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you learned something from it, you can go ahead and give it a like. And don't forget to share with a friend. And if you're new here, it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button. And also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update. And until I see you guys again with a tutorial update, free Friday, tutorial Tuesday, tips and tricks, things like this. Peace.